How's it going, pups? It's a canine. I'm not squeezing this intro in. You're just squeezing that subscribe button. Okay, I'm not gonna do that again. So I played this game called Blanc, and it's okay. Immediately when it came out on Valentine's Day, I played it with a friend, and there is a few bugs. Uh oh, this camera ain't gonna be no good. <laughs> Whoa! Which is absolutely fine. It wasn't like the biggest deal or whatever like that. But um, I was kind of more intrigued about the story, but the story left a lot to be desired. In Blanc, you start out with these two characters, a wolf and a deer, and they basically meet each other and they're not too fond of each other at the start. But then slowly they start to collaborate together in order to get to their pack. Throughout this whole adventure, you know, the wolf and the deer, two very different species and one kind of eats the other so like i think that was what it was kind of leading on to but that isn't what we got i guess we're not so different you and i <laughs> <laughs> Throughout the game, you're like building your friendship and you're helping like things like ducks. You're helping this mama duck get their ducklings across like to their home, like throughout these windy, treacherous winds and everything like that. And so you're trying to uh, block the wind from them, which was actually a little weird to play, but you know, it worked out in the end. <laughs> oh my, why am I fucking garbage? <laughs> and then you meet these two lambs who mimic your every move. And this is amazing time to talk about the puzzles. The puzzles in this game are actually super fun and actually pretty in depth. I kind of enjoyed my time with the puzzles there. Can they not figure it out? No, I don't think they can. I think they're stupid as fuck. Okay. Oh, oh. Was it a little buggy? Lie. But I'm absolutely fine with a game like this sort of being buggy. It's not about the gameplay, it's about the story. And now let's talk about the story. So the story is about this wolf and this deer who get separated from their pack. They're basically going through like towns, um, rivers, um, snow drifts, like windy places. And um, they're basically just trying to find their way home, or well, to their pack, which is their home, basically. And throughout this journey, there's signs of like antlers being dropped, and like you're waiting for this big, big climax of like, you know, a, maybe a wolf, or maybe they're like the wolf's dad is gonna like kill off the fawn or like the deer. But nothing just happens with that. They just kind of reunite with their families. And that's it. And I'd be absolutely fine with a cute story, but like throughout the game, they're giving hints of something bad is gonna happen. When you're leading the little lambs, there's a part where this lamb just falls off this pipe and um, they kind of like look like they die, but they do a sort of fake out. Please. No, I'm dying. No, we lost the lamb. <laughs> that's crazy. Who made this game? Who made this game? Bruh. Oh, it's angry. Oh my god. It's okay. How? The lamb just stands back up there kind of fine, and now the white lamb is just basically angry, which is, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. But in all honesty, it didn't really feel too impactful. It would have been super impactful if the lamb just straight up died. I think that would have been super, super amazing, like storytelling. And that would have set a huge, that would have been a huge tone shift throughout the whole story. But no, the lamb just is alive, and now we just continue on our way, basically. And then there's another part to where we be another, like, wolf and a deer. And um, so the wolf kind of does the same thing as the lamb to where, like, they do the fake out. This game is so confusing. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, oh. Uh, oh my. Oh, what is wrong with y'all? How do y'all keep letting this happen? But the wolf is alive, and now I'm just kind of very confused at this story. Like, the story could have very much made me feel a lot of things. Animal death hits me super, super hard, and I feel like they missed out on that opportunity. There's another section towards the end of the game to where you're walking in the mountains, in the woods, and it's just dead silent there's this noise that can be heard and it sounds like a wolf like preying on something or something like that and i feel like i feel like they wanted to add a dark element to the story but they just didn't have the time or something like that and so they just made it a cutesy story and now the story just 
doesn't really fit right. It's $15, so it's not like the biggest deal. Like, I'm absolutely fine with what I got. I got the playtime I wanted, and I feel it was absolutely fine. It's mainly that I felt very incomplete with the story. I would recommend this game to people because, you know, it was a fun experience, and um, I feel indie devs need to get supported. But, um, I don't know. I just felt a little disappointed by it. Anyway, that is all I have. Ha, bye. <laughs> oh, you're my friend now. <gasps> We're having soft tacos later. <laughs> We're